Well, hello there, folks. This is your compost gardening CEO back with another compost gardening video. I plan to, at the end of this video, to walk back and show y'all what the, how the garden's doing, how the compost garden is going. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to turn the camera on. I'm doing a little, I'm doing some uh, grounding right here. Got my bare feet on the ground. Uh, I believe there's something to that. My, my niece Angie told me about that, about uh, grounding. And I had seen a, a video or two, a little, little bit about it. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd come out here and do some grounding and turn the camera on and talk to you guys a little bit. For you guys who uh, have subscribed to because of compost gardening, I'm going to walk back in a few minutes and show you guys show you guys how it's going. But anyway, uh, intro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw bull raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. With the rain ting ting and the ting 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 and the through the way a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know and through the way we'd run play ball and through the way we'd run. Uh, my dad taught us that song when we were siblings, when we, my sibling, myself and my siblings, when we were young people, young children. He taught us that song and I'm the youngest and it happened to stick with me. And uh, I've lived my life thinking about things that that's happened, you know, in the past. I've lived my life uh, thinking back on things, and sometimes I I might bring something up that uh, people may have forgotten about or whatever. But anyway, I, I think about some things, you know, that when I was growing up. But that song stuck in my mind. But anyway. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the practice of thinking right. Because the more you think right, the more you will have a blessed life. Because as the uh, scriptures say, as a man or a person, I like to say a person, as a person think in their heart, so are they. So that's including men, women, children, girls, boys, that's including anybody. To let you know that when you think right, you get to live a tight life. Things that go, go right for you, go better for you. When you keep your mind stayed on the most high, he'll keep you in perfect peace. And uh, so anyway, I, I used to ride around on my forklift when I, when I was driving forklifts or trucks or whatever, concrete trucks, uh, uh, forklifts. Uh, uh, back when I was in the Air Force, I used to drive a, 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 a JP4 truck, a fuel refueler. And so I've been driving most of my adult life. Well, I've been driving most of my life, period, since I was 16 anyway. When I got my license, uh, I've been driving since then, it's, but it's been different type vehicles all all along the way. By the way, I'm 67 years old, and uh, I've made it to 67, and uh, I plan to keep thinking right so that I get to keep living tight, keep living a tight life. And so I would ride around thinking about uh, things I was thinking about, because sometimes I would be working, and uh, the thought would come to me, hey, what am I thinking about right now? You know, because you can get on a job and be doing and be working and get into what you're doing and not really think about what you're thinking about. <laughs> you know, that might sound strange to some people that that, that hadn't been practicing God in their mind, that uh, hadn't been practicing uh, thinking right, thinking, uh, directing your thoughts, making your thoughts be what you want them to be rather than letting your mind 
think about anything that hits your mind. And so you're guarding your mind, as, as the scriptures say, uh, we are to guard our minds with all diligence. With everything we got, we are to, we are to guard our minds. We're jet going by. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've, I've lived most, most of my life being conscious, cognizant of what I think about. And so, like I said, sometimes I would be working and think, and uh, I would think about the thought would hit me. What are you thinking about? And so I would think, I always, always call it in the back of my mind. I would be, I would uh, think about what I was, what I was thinking about at the time. And uh, sure enough, either I would be thinking about something that's, that's good or at sometimes I would be, my mind would be on something that's not, not good. And so I believe that the more we can practice thinking about things that we want to think about, because uh, some of those thoughts might have been that I, I wasn't guarding my mind at the moment. And uh, the enemy was able to shoot one of those fiery darts and, uh, and get, some, get a thought in my mind that, I, that he wanted me to think rather than me thinking something that I needed, needed to be thinking or that I want to be thinking. And so when you, when you practice thinking about uh, what you're thinking about, and uh, I call it, I call this preemptive thinking when I, I put a thought in my mind, because the scriptures also say, meditate on the most high day and night. Meditate on what's good, what's right. And so I would put a verse in my mind and uh, meditate on that verse. I would break it down and meditate on it, thinking about it, uh, thinking about uh, what it means and praying for the answer to what it means. And uh, I would be uh, just meditating. And so meditation is a, a, a valuable tool for us to be to, to be using but at the same time i know the world has taken meditation and got you thinking about a whole bunch of other things uh, i'm not even going to even try to go into what they have you have people thinking about uh some type of home or whatever you know but anyway uh <laughs> i believe that when you when you guide your thoughts and you and you meditate on the things that the most high wants you to meditate on that he'll give you a tight life. And so I would be riding around on my forklift or whatever I'm, I was driving at the time and uh, and just would be making a tune. I made a little tune. Think right and live tight. Meditate on thinking right and you have a tight life. When you think right you live tight. Meditate on thinking right and you'll have a tight life. And so I would be meditating and singing my little songs, my little uh, song to uh, keep my mind stayed on the most high. And, uh, and uh, I've managed to be able to live a, a, a pretty tight life. You know, I've managed to, to uh, Keep my mind stayed on the most high for the most part. And the more, the more I do that, well, then the more peace I have. And so, but anyway, uh, I'm not going to drag this video out too long. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm going to walk back here and, and show you compost gardeners. Oh, yeah, I'm happy, too. I'm happy because... Because I just knocked my camera over. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, I'm not happy because I knocked my camera over. But anyway, I made a little joke out of it anyway. But uh, I'm happy. Oh, yeah, I was about to say I'm happy because uh, I've had people subscribe. And I had another person subscribe to my channel. And so I hope I can give you guys something to uh, think about and to meditate on and uh, be able to uh, do some good for you.
But anyway, you guys just keep listening. <laughs> I was trying to turn my camera around, but make it reverse, and I hadn't learned how to do that yet. But anyway, I, I, I got, you know, our compost garden, and this, it's uh, going to the next stage now, which is compost. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is a, an asparagus plant that my wife planted here. And uh, some potatoes, sweet potatoes there. Hope I, I'm, hope, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that I'm holding the camera at a good angle. But anyway, the tomato plant plants have pretty much ran, ran their course. And uh, look over here, y'all. What do you see? Watermelon. I hope I'm holding the camera good. <laughs> Watermelon is growing there. Right at the last of the season here. So hopefully it'll keep growing and, and blowing up. And uh, we can enjoy it. You, as you can see, there's a lot of leaves falling. The leaves are, have begun to fall. And uh, so that's going to give me some more compost once I mulch them up. And uh, it's going to give me some more compost material to put on my garden. I usually cut it all up, cut it up real good, and uh, mulch it up, and then I blow it. I'm, I'm going to blow it onto the garden here, onto the compost garden. Anyway, this is some corn that I have planted here. This is some uh, okra plants and uh, some corn that I have planted here. Hopefully this, the season, I, it was probably kind of late when I planted them, planted it, but uh, hopefully the season will last long enough to uh, for them to grow up and, and we get some corn and be able to eat it. But uh, anyway, I figure that my compost gardening, my compost garden is uh, is maturing because the I believe the older that it gets, the uh, the more it will be able to you. Ha I will have the worms under there like I want to have, and they'll be able, they'll be uh, doing their thing under there, and uh, it'll be richer. The soil will be richer and everything else up under there, and uh, but anyway. Hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. And uh, as I see it, that uh, it will mature more and more. And uh, we'll have more and more uh, progress with this compost gardening. But anyway, the biggest part about compost gardening is uh, the weeds, not having to deal with all the weeds, as many weeds. A lot of weeds, as you saw when I was when I was over there, this is a scuppernine plant that I have here. Uh, a muscadine, some people call them. 